Where's the best place to purchase your domain in 2022? So there is a wide range of potential prices you could pay when purchasing a domain. So if you'd like to save five, 10, or even $15 per year on your domain, then continue watching today's video. There are three common mistakes I see people making when purchasing their domain. The first mistake is taking the easy route and just purchasing your domain wherever you're building your website. So this may save you five or 10 minutes as far as connecting wherever you purchase your URL to your website builder but they're gonna charge you five, 10, $15 more by purchasing your website, wherever you're either hosting your website or the website builder. The second common mistake I see people making all the time is paying for privacy protection. So privacy protection is when you purchase your URL, the domain registrar where you purchase the domain essentially submits your contact information to a database that's just open to the public. And so you don't want that to happen, so you pay eight, nine, 10, $15, per year for privacy protection. The thing is that a lot of the domain registrars that we're gonna talk about at the end of this video don't charge anything for that. It's a service that they include for free. So if you go with a domain registrar that's charging you eight, nine or $10 or whatever it is per year, you could have just purchased it somewhere else for the same price or maybe even less for the URL and then not have this extra charge for privacy protection that's included for free. The third common mistake I see people making is not checking the renewal price. So with some domain registrars, they're gonna give you a really low price for year one, but I imagine this website, it could be your personal brand or a business that you're hoping exists for maybe the rest of your life. So you're gonna be paying for this year in and year out. So saving a couple dollars in year one and paying five, 10 or $10 a year extra for a year, five, 10, 15, 20 in the future, doesn't really make a lot of sense. So make sure to know what the renewal price is gonna be before purchasing your domain. Now I have several domain registrars websites pulled up on my computer and we're gonna compare the pricing for a .com domain. If you want to purchase .co, .org, .net, or really any other top level domain, you're gonna see fairly similar results. So my least favorite option is GoDaddy. So GoDaddy has a lot of the issues that I just mentioned previously in this video where you see a low first year price of one penny if you're getting it for two years. So if we click on get it, you're gonna see what I'm talking about. So what we see now is .com, it's $19 for two years. The next two years is gonna re renew for $38, which is $19 per year. And you're gonna see full domain protection for $9.99. So if this is what you wanted, let's just keep going with this and I can show you essentially how some of this would change. So here we have full domain protection. They have ultimate domain protection. I really don't know what that is. This is not at all needed. They have start your website builder for free and a whole bunch of other things. We could continue to cart. And so you see 19 bucks for two years. If we just go back to one year, it makes everything a little bit clear. So what we're gonna see here when it updates is, so we paid $12 in year one, and then it's gonna renew for $18.99 for each additional year, $9.99 for domain protection. So not a great option. The second option that I wouldn't recommend is domain.com. So you can see here with domain.com, the first year for the domain is $9.99 and the privacy protection of $8.99. So privacy protection plus the domain, not a great price. Moving on from there, we have Hover. So with Hover, you're gonna see here is the first year price of $13.99. The one thing here is you can hover over privacy protection and it's free. So the nice thing here, at least $13.99, free privacy protection. The renewal price you can see right here, .com registration or transfer $13.99, but the renewal is going to be $15.99 we're gonna see better options. Moving on from there. So Namecheap is where we've purchased domains for the longest time. So I first purchased domains from GoDaddy, realized GoDaddy was expensive, then ended up with Namecheap, which is better than the previous options we talked about, but we're gonna see better options as we go further on in the video. So you see year one, and this all includes privacy protection as well. So 8.98 for the first year, at least right now there's a promotion for the first year for 5.98. And then you see the renewal price of $13.98. I think that there's another small icon, ICANN fee that's a couple of cents on here. So yeah, so you see another 18 cents when we go to checkout. But you can see a fair amount better than the previous options. Moving on from there, we have Google Domain. So Google Domains, there's no great first year price. It's just the same price every single year. And we have $12 per year, and this includes privacy protection. The next option we have is Dynadot. So you can see here with Dynadot for a .com domain, $9.99 per year. If we hover over privacy protection, you're gonna see that it's included 
for free and this is the renewal price as well moving on from dynadot we have name silo so name silo almost the same price you save four pennies by going with name silo versus dynadot so you have 995 and you see the renewal for 995 as well if we click on checkout see they're using cloudflare here for privacy protection or security we're going to see cloudflare in just a second so who is privacy again here you're going to see that is included at no cost. If you wanna learn more about any of the domain registrars we talk about in today's video, I'll put links down below in the description. Some of these links are affiliate links, so if you end up purchasing a domain, we may earn a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. Now we're getting down to my top two favorite options. Honestly, it's a coin toss between these two. Depending on the second option's first year pricing would help me decide which one I would go with, but honestly, you're getting good prices with both of them. The next option we're gonna talk about is Cloudflare. So Cloudflare is known for website security. You saw it being used on a website just a second ago. They recently launched the ability to purchase domains. Maybe a year or so ago, they launched the ability to transfer domains. The thing is they earned $0 from this business. It's just something they decided that they wanted to create to help people save money because of all the previous options we were talking about and how expensive it can be for purchasing domain when it shouldn't. So here are the pricing for their different domains. You can see here a .com is only $8.57. It includes privacy protection and it's gonna be this price this year, next year, and in the future. Sometimes some of the fees end up going up, but they're essentially making no money offering this to you. The next domain registrar we're gonna talk about is the one with the coolest name, Pork Bun. So you're gonna see here with Pork Bun, the pricing is also really solid. The first year right now, there's a promo where it's only $4.75 and renews at $9.13. So here's what I was saying before, the first year is a couple dollars cheaper, then you're gonna pay essentially 50 cents more per year than you would with Cloudflare. So here you could spend less money year one, and then essentially you'd have to catch up paying 50 cents more per year over the next like seven years until you're at break even. So I would say if the prices are lit like this, go with pork bun. If this prom promo goes away, maybe Cloudflare is a little bit less. Another thing that I have to mention with pork bun is just check out their merchandise. So they have mugs, t-shirts, stickers, and they're phenomenal. So if you buy a domain from here, buy one of their t-shirts as well. So now that you've figured out where to purchase your domain, it's time to build your website. If you wanna see all of our videos on how to build your website, tutorials for different website builders, check out the playlist right here. Hope to see you in those and future videos. Bye.